Hello and welcome to this month's roundup. My name is Natasha and I am thrilled to have a special guest joining me. Blair, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Natasha. My name is Wahizi David Blair. I'm a student here at Carnegie Mellon University, um, London, and I'm pleased to be here. It's great to have you. Thank you. Now, let's dive into the events that happened in April. First up, CMU Africa was honored to host the President of Kenya, His Excellency William Ruto, for an interactive dialogue. His vision for a better Africa with technology taking the lead was truly inspiring. During his state visit to Rwanda, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, paid a visit to the CMU Africa campus. As a community, we were privileged and honored to engage with him during a moderated interactive panel session. During the session, His Excellency was able to address questions from the audience, as well as share with us his vision for a better Africa. One of the key things he emphasized on was the need for us to harness our education to be the change that Africa needs. This resonates with CMU Africa's vision to train the next generation of African tech leaders. We are grateful to have had this engagement as we look forward to implementing the nuggets of wisdom shared, as well as become leaders who think global and act local. During this month of April, Rwanda commemorates the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi for 100 days, starting from April 7th. During this period, we remember the victims of the genocide, pay tribute to the survivors, and acknowledge the people who, who play the part in stopping the genocide. To promote reconciliation and healing, CMU Africa held a series of guest lectures and visits to different memorial sites. Next up, we have the Energy and Embedded Systems Club, which recently held a training for students from SOS Technical School. During this training, students were equipped with skills necessary for the labor market. My name is Esther Quizera. I'm the president of Energy and Embedded Systems Club. Today, we had a workshop training with students from SOS Technical School. We had a tour around the campus and had a small career guidance talk. And then we proceeded with a training 36 students with AutoCAD software, a software that helps them to do electrical installations footprints. The students we selected are doing a one-year short course in electricity and we felt like it's a good opportunity to empower them with skills they can use out there on the market and make a living out of it. The countdown is on for our second year students to take on the world. To ensure that they are ready for this epic adventure, we hosted our annual career fair where they rubbed shoulders with industry professionals. Hello, I'm Max Millen and I'm a graduate, class of 2023, and I'm grateful for the opportunity that CMU has provided us at the career fair, where we're able to see different companies uh, and merge with our interests as well as theirs, uh, seeing where we can uh, bridge the gap and some of uh, us have been able to do brief interviews and uh, maybe some might have been able to secure some uh, good opportunities. And we also had a pitch session where some brilliant uh, IT experts from CMU have been able to showcase their different innovations and how they impact the community. And I'm grateful to have also been part of that uh, session where we got some insights in how we can improve our ideas. And finally, some of our students traveled to Carnegie Mellon University's Pittsburgh campus for CMU Africa Week. During this week, they shared their cutting-edge research with the greater CMU community and engaged in culture exchange. This month, we had the CMU Africa Week in Pittsburgh. That was the occasion for us, CMU Africa community, to go to Pittsburgh and showcase our research work to the bigger CMU community. We also got the opportunity to learn from their own research that is being conducted in the CMU Pittsburgh campus. One research project that particularly got me interested is the uh, research in the area of human and computer interactions. There we learned about some research projects that aimed at studying how humans and robots can work together in the same workplace and successfully fulfill their tasks without interfering. 
And finally, we also had a bit of fun. We went for a city tour, we had a dinner at Professor Allen's place, and we went for, to watch a baseball match at the PNC Park. And finally, we got to visit the Carnegie Museum of Art and Natural Science. All in all, that was a great experience and we are really grateful for the opportunity that is giving to us. And we hope that this keeps happening every year. Blair, it's been great having you. Thank you for having me, Natasha. We should do this again. Maybe we will. To find out, make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next month. Bye-bye.